The number one player in the 2025 class, Juju Lewis, does not live in the West region, but he will still impact a lot of the quarterback recruiting out here. If he stays committed to USC, uh, others have to look for other places. But if he decommits, which is now certainly a possibility as Georgia pursues him, he has taken multiple visits to Colorado. I think the Bulldogs are absolutely the biggest contender uh, to flip him from USC. If he does flip, it becomes interesting what USC does with their quarterback recruiting in the 2025 class. They basically put all the eggs in the Lewis basket. They didn't take a quarterback in 2024. A source who was there over the weekend told me that the quarterback room definitely looked light. Uh, they only have two on scholarship with Miller Moss and Jaden Maeva who transferred from UNLV. So, you know, Lewis is setting himself up really well if he sticks with USC to come here and compete for the starting spot early in his career. But that draw from Georgia is certainly significant. So if he were to decommit, would they go after Husan Longstreet from Corona Centennial? Would they make a run at Madden Yamaliava from down the road at Downey Warren, who is continuing uh, to prove he's one of the best quarterbacks um, in the 2025 class in the West region? Would they even take a shot at Akili Smith, who is an Oregon legacy, um, but is from uh, Southern California? Bear Bachmeyer, another Southern California kid committed to Stanford. Stanford. So there's, there are definitely players that they can go after, um, but only if Juju Lewis were to flip. It will be an interesting few months here. Nothing has been finalized, and Juju Lewis continues to hit the road.